I've found myself in the last 18 years. You found yourself? Mm -hmm. Being married to Oscar? Yeah. He saved my life, actually. He really did. How could he save your life, though, when he's behind bars? To answer that question and to understand now, you have to understand then. The former Rosalie Martinez had everything she could want. Marriage, motherhood, money. The triple crown with a mansion on Tampa's Hickory Creek Boulevard. I had very expensive jewelry. Three carat diamond earrings on each ear, six carat diamond ring, $500,000 house, Mercedes. The wife of a prominent attorney, she lived in a lap of luxury with four beautiful young daughters and cameras recording every red letter occasion. But Rosalie says something was missing as she first told us back in 1996. I wanted to break out. I wanted to be loved like I've never been loved before. Passion, somebody just to put you on a pedestal, not with material things, but emotions. How could she trade all those jewels for jail, that fur for a felon? Rosalie remembers the moment she first laid eyes on Oscar Volan. There was no spark at first. She was working in the public defender's office assigned to his case. They opened the door, and there's just a young man standing there. His back is towards me, and he turns around. He said, who are you? I said, I'm here to help you. And I think I said, I'm your angel. Over a two-year period, they grow closer, but law comes before love. Then, for Rosalie, a seismic revelation. She believes Oscar's innocent. The documentation that I've gone through and the reports are totally conflicting. I was sent there for a purpose, a divine purpose, and I became obsessed with it. I wasn't gonna let anybody stand in my way. Including her husband, who she says gives her an ultimatum. It's the Bolin case or him. It was a knee-jerk reaction, don't tell me what to do, and here we are. Would you say that you married Oscar in kind of a, a fit of stubbornness? Yes, I was gonna take a stand. I didn't care what people thought. And that stand, marrying her client, is a jaw-dropping move, done almost solely to draw attention to Oscar's case. But along with that comes a wrenching decision, agreeing that her husband will have primary custody of their children. Many people would say, come on, you've got to know if you married a guy who's in prison that that's going to affect them. I wasn't thinking. It's still hard for me to admit that. Rosalie Martinez. But she can admit wife, that her strategy pays off money. big time. Is she crazy? Can you say wacko? Even landing the happy couple here on 2020 back in 1996. I love it. It was a tiny little wedding shown to an audience of some 12 million viewers. I'm shaking, I'm very nervous. It's my wedding day. But there would be no flowers or walk down the aisle. AT&T has a correct house. The new Mr. and Mrs. Bolin exchange vows over a speakerphone with a photo standing in for the groom. Oscar, do you take Rosalie to be your lawful wedded wife? Yes, I do. Rosalie, do you take Oscar to be your lawful wedded husband? Yes, I do. I now pronounce you husband and wife. Congratulations. Oscar? Oscar. Hey. Listen. I'll I'll, blow I'll, you a kiss. You're blowing me a kiss? Their honeymoon is in this courtroom just three days later to hear if Oscar would be given life or death for one of the murders. Uh, you are sentenced to death for the murder of Terry Lynn Matthews. Rosalie is devastated. That was nearly 20 years ago. And while some might be celebrating with the traditional anniversary gift of fine china, Rosalie and Oscar make do with prison cafeteria plastic. And not such fond memories of appeal after appeal, conviction after conviction, 11 trials all told. The biggest misconception of Oscar is that he's a monster and that he's a murderer and he's not. He's a good person. Though her husband's confined 23 hours a day, alone in a six by nine cell, Rosalie insists he's a wonderful partner, though not a traditional one. 
I can't ever expect him to change the oil in my car or take the garbage out or... or go to the movies with you or hold your hand on a cold night. No, it's not none of those things. It's, um, he puts me on an emotional pedestal. He listens, he's there completely, 100%. Nothing's more important than I am. This is a letter he just wrote me this past Thursday. So it's really Oscar sends fun. his so wife love letters and hand-drawn cards day, practically right. every day. And with no Hallmark yes, shop on death row, he creates each one himself. You have been my dream girl from the moment we first met, thinking of you every minute of every day. And yeah. what do you make of it when you get these? They're just so special. They're priceless. There's nothing, I, I wouldn't want anything else. Not a diamond, not a car. Not a fur coat. And you keep them all? I do. I, I couldn't bear to throw any of them away. I think the art of lovemaking is probably in these cards and letters. Lovemaking, a delicate subject in this relationship. People will ask, do you have conjugal visits? Have you consummated your relationship? I find it very interesting why people would be interested in my sex life. It's no one's business and, you know, that's not part of our relationship. Does it matter to you? No, not anymore, no. What does matter most, she says, is proving her husband's innocence. A licensed private investigator and mitigation specialist herself, Rosalie is leaving no stone unturned. I just want people to listen, that there are innocent people who are wrongfully convicted. It happens. And she shows us an explosive report slamming a top FBI agent that could lead her husband to a new trial.